Hello friends. In this video, I will show you how you can make your computer a local web server for your PHP development. In this video, I will show you how you can download and install XAMPP in your computer. Search for download XAMPP in Google. You can download from apachefriends.org. There are three versions available. I will take the latest one which is version 8. Click on download. Save this file in download folder or wherever you want in your computer. When download is completed, click on show in folder. There is an exe file for XAMPP. Double click on it. I have some antivirus running so I ignore this warning. Click on next. Click on next. Now it is asking for folder where XAMPP will be installed. By default it is C XAMPP. You can change it to any drive you want. For me I will install it in D drive. Click on next. Next. So now installation has started. It will take some time for installation to complete. While installation is going on, let me tell you a few things here. If you want to develop a website in PHP using your local computer as web server, you have to install XAMPP or WAMP in your local system. XAMPP stands for Cross Platform Apache, MariaDB, PHP, and Perl. It is an open source free web server you can use for your PHP development in Windows or Linux. It provides Apache web server, PHP and MySQL database which is also called MariaDB. You can also use WAMP for PHP development using your local computer as a web server. WAMP works only on Windows. It stands for Windows, Apache, MariaDB and PHP. You can use any one of them for your web development using your local computer. Please subscribe this channel so that you can watch all the videos to know the solution of all your how to questions as a web developer. Also do not forget to click or tap on the bell icon to get a notification for a new video. Installation is complete now. It is asking if you want to start control panel. XAMPP control panel gives option to start and stop services for Apache web service and MySQL database service. Check this option. Click on finish. Now XAMPP control panel is opened. Here you can see Apache web service and MySQL database service. These are two services needed to start web server and database engine. Click on start button for Apache and then for MySQL. Once services are started, they will be in green color to indicate services are running. Now just to verify, stop them and start again. So these are working fine. Close it now. Now we will do some verification to make sure that web server is running fine and your MySQL database is also running fine. Now go to your folder where you have installed your XAMPP. So I go to D drive. So XAMPP HDDocs is your home for the local web server. Now go to your browser and type localhost. Just type localhost only. You should see this screen. If your XAMPP is installed properly and web server is running, you should see this screen. Now you can see two things here. One is PHP info and one is PHP my admin. If you click on PHP info, it will show you all the PHP settings which are in php.ini file. You will be able to see all these parameters and their values here. It is just for Verification purpose only, you don't have to do anything here. Close this. 
Now click on PHP My Admin. MySQL admin screen will be open. Here you can perform various database activities like create database, create table, run SQL statement, export and import data, and many more activities. In the left hand panel, various databases are displayed. These are the default databases created after installation. And on the right hand side, you can see PHP version 8.0.10. So, our database is also running fine. Our verification is also completed. So we can say that XAMPP is installed properly. Your system can be used as a local web server for your PHP development. So XAMPP installation and verification process is done. You are all set to start your PHP development using your local web server. For detailed step-by-step -step guide about this topic, you can go to my website https codehowto.com you can read many how to topics for your web development you can download all the codes free you do not need to register yourself please watch the video how to write my first php program that will show php code example for a beginner link is given in the description of this video also please share it with your friends and colleagues and write your comments questions or suggestions in the comments box Thank you for watching the video.